What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast, where we'll discuss about everything Marvel in the MCU. It's now news that after many years of mystery and fan demand, Marvel Cinematic Universe finally decided to roll out the red carpet for his veteran family. I mean, when the Fantastic Four reboot was announced, it became the talk of the town from who would be writing it to who would direct the most important family in the Marvel history. And those were the big question. There were lots of rumors about actors who would be playing one of the most important parts, from John Krasinski to Penn Bagley and back and forth from Jodie Comer to Mila Kunis. However, since then, fans have still been kept in the dark about who will play Marvel's first and most important family up till date. But this may not be the most shocking news yet, but still significant, the Fantastic Four is said to have hired a new writer, which I reported here a few days ago. And as we know it, the upcoming Marvel family film is currently in preparation and has not yet begun production. Moreover, MCU films frequently tend to shoot writers, as you are probably aware. Therefore, introducing some fresh concept at this point in the game is within what I would consider typical bounds to begin with. So today, we're going to be talking about some of all of these rumors and what the plot point for the long-awaited and highly anticipated Marvel Fantastic Four reboot. And keep in mind that I'm going to be bumping from one insider to the other for this rumor. Before we go into all of the funny juicy details, we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. And according to THR, Josh Friedman is the most recent writer to attempt the Fantastic Four screenplay. The film, which Matt Checkman of WandaVision is directing, is scheduled for February 14, 2025 release date. If you don't know who Josh Friedman is, he recently worked on Avatar The Way of Water and developed Snowpiercer as a TNT television series. He has been tipped to write the script for Marvel Studios Fantastic Four. How much of rewrites this will be anyone's guess for now. However, I am for one not convinced we'll see Fantastic Four as early as February of 2025. There are still more delays to be announced for sure. Therefore, if the movie does get delayed, this could become a more extensive rewrite potentially. And while at the rumor level, there are rumors that Fantastic Four reboot casting is underway and half done. However, Fans of Penn Bagley are certain that he has been named as Reed Richard aka Mr. Fantastic of the MCU. The multiverse saga floodgate as we know them opened by Spider-Man in No Way Home. In a new era of Marvel Cinematic Universe in which it's now possible to introduce anyone from anywhere in the past if they get the rights to them. The boss surrounding the Fantastic Four exists in a distinct vast world. Though the roster is overflowing with superheroes and it's becoming more difficult to keep track of new entrants at this point. According to the most recent rumors, the studio has now located Sue Storm and Reed Richard. This report from Marvel says that the studio has finally started casting for the Fantastic Four reboot and has found two of the four member family. Of course, Reed Richard and Sue Storm are the two, but until now, no identities have been made public. Fans are still making claims that Penn Bagley, who stars in the film You, has been hired by the company despite this fact. A potential insider on Twitter claimed, as reported as You Got Covered, said that the audition process for the Fantastic Four had begun. Reed and Sue, the lead appear, have been located, and the other members apparently been sought after. However, social media users are certain that Penn Bagley is portraying Reed. He has, however, been in the press since September of 2022, and his rumored MCU debut as Reed Richards. However, some people are against his selection because they believe that John Krasinski's performance as Reed can never be topped. Until there is a formal announcement, we will have to live in the uncertainty of Penn Bagley's MCU debut regarding the Fantastic Four reboot. And if you are wondering whether Jodie Comer will portray Sue Storm aka the Invincible Woman in the MCU, the English actress has officially addressed the rumors that she will play a sought after lead part in the upcoming Marvel Studios Fantastic Four reboot. Josh inquired about her prospect with Marvel, she says and I quote, No guys, I don't know anything about it. I feel like when I say these people are like, okay, I like that you can win either ways. I think, never say never. I think I said so before. Like usually, when you finish one project, you want to try something very different. So I don't know. Maybe. End of quote. Now, understandably, Marvel hasn't given fans any details about the unveiling of the Fantastic Four team because Marvel wants to make sure the rebooted Fantastic Four is done perfectly now that it has the character right once more. It begins with who they cast as each character. No official statement has confirmed or denied any significant rumors. Sky claims that casting call for the Fantastic Four had revealed the actors that Marvel is looking to portray Mr. Fantastic, the Human Torch, the Invincible Woman, and the Thing to Life. Now, let's switch things up a little bit about some plot elements related to the most recent Fantastic Four rumors, which states that Sue Storm and Reed Richard will be introduced as parents into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
This rumor was spread by Jeff Snyder when he was a guest on John Rogers' Hot Mike program. He says, and I quote, Somebody reached out and they go, Yo, it's not going to be Social Ronan. And I go, why? And they go, here's why. Reed and Sue are parents in the movie. They are going to be parents. End of quote. So, Sasha Ronan won't be portraying Sue Storm according to Snyder because the casting director feels that she's too young to be a mother. Snyder went on to say that what I heard is that she's too young. He also claimed that the kids will not be newborns or infants, but a little bit older. However, I don't know how old. I don't even know if this person is even correct. It's someone I trust. They said that Sasha Ronan is too young for what they're looking for. After getting married, Reed Richard, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic, and Sue Storm, a.k.a. The Invincible Woman, had two kids. Franklin Richard is the oldest child, and Valeria Megan Richard is the youngest sibling. Franklin made his comic book debut in 1968 Fantastic Four Annual Number 6. Oh. He was nameless at that time. Reed will give him the name Franklin and clarify that he was named after Sue's father, Franklin, in Fantastic Four Number 94. Franklin ultimately develops into one of the most powerful mutants still alive, with the powers of controlling personic energy and could destroy Earth. For his body to manage and control his powers, he even uses it to age up himself. He was stronger and developed physically, but lacked the mental maturity to deal with them. To ultimately develop his powers as he aged, he turned himself back into a child and put restraints upon himself. Franklin's powers would increase to the point where he could build a new Earth. Even the Celestials thought he was a being who was on par with themselves. Valeria, a Franklin sibling, is much more recent creation who made a debut in Fantastic Four number 15 in 1999. Valeria is thought to be the child of Sue Storm and a variant Victor Von Doom. Valeria was in fact Reed and Sue's biological kid. It would later be discovered. Sue believed that she had an abortion, but Franklin had actually moved her into a different place. Typically, Valeria lacks any natural occurring superpowers. Instead, she uses her technical powers to build devices and give her the ability to control forces like Sue Storm to give her superhuman strength. Franklin and Valeria might be key players in whatever Marvel Studios has in store for the multiversal saga, given that they frequently get mixed up in the multiple reality plot lines and time travel. Now, while all of this sounds so nice, I think we may only be able to see them as babies instead of full-fledged adolescents with powers and all. I don't know how it's going to look like introducing them as parents, but I do know that it's certainly going to be a bummer. And with that said, let's move over right to our giveaways. As we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? And how excited are you to see the Fantastic Four film reboot? Uh, please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.